Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome back to Repair and Replace. In this episode, I'll show you how to replace the solenoid in a Toto EcoPower flashometer. To begin, you'll need a solenoid, a 1 8 inch security hex wrench, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and a smooth jaw wrench. Flashometers or flush valves are just automatically timed self-closing valves. At rest, water is at equal pressure in the upper and lower chambers. This keeps the piston closed tightly on the valve seat. When the sensor is triggered, the solenoid activates and releases water from the upper chamber, which decreases the pressure. High pressure water from the inlet now lifts the piston up and travels down the flush pipe. As water flows through the micro turbine, electric power is generated and stored in the capacitor, which is then used to power the system. During the flush, some of the water is forced back into the upper chamber through a small bypass hole in the piston. The flush continues until the pressure equalizes and pushes the piston down onto the valve seat. Now, if the solenoid is stuck open, it can cause continuous flushing as water continues to flow out and prevents the upper chamber from filling with water. If the solenoid fails to open, it can prevent the unit from functioning at all. First, shut off the water to the flashometer. Remove the cap and use a flat blade screwdriver to turn the screw clockwise until the control stop closes. Next, hold down the button to remove any remaining water. Use the security hex wrench to loosen the top cover screws. Now lift up the cover and disconnect the wires. Unplug the battery, solenoid, and generator, then set the cover off to the side. Use a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the four mounting screws. Now remove and discard the old solenoid. Push the new solenoid into the housing. Now tighten the mounting screws. Reconnect the wires to the battery, solenoid, and generator. Replace the cover and tighten the set screws. Turn on the water by opening the control stop. Now test the flashometer and adjust the control stop until you get a normal flush with a quiet operation. Finally, replace the cap. If you found this video useful, then subscribe to our channel. We're constantly filming new content every week, so let us know what repairs you'd like to see next. Now, if you need a part for that repair, then explore our website. We stock thousands of hard to find parts and we'll ship it out to you the same day. Thanks for watching.